Okay, so um, this test I'm going to do, I'm t doing with Guidance Scrambler 3. As well, I will also see about the executioners being um, splashable in the beginning. So, um, the only difference between, you know, my builds right now is that this one right here has Guidance Scrambler 3 on it, and the other ones don't. So, um, I will destroy the, or I'll see what I can do. See if I could trigger the, uh, the remote target first, and then I will next do a, uh, a test with the executioner's splash without countering the executioner, see if they do splash damage. And for that, I'll just probably run a gunboat with my, uh, you know, my, uh, Dragon, something like that. But uh, let's try this out. Because I'm not exactly sure if it'll work. But it's exciting seeing that because theoretically it has 95% evade for the um, remote target range. Now, that being said, I'm not sure if. Okay, let's try this right here. I'm not sure if it will matter. Okay, I do want to kill that. All right, so that worked good. So I singled out this little pylon, uh, this little uh, ship right here. So this one that has the only one twin fire rocket has a guidance scrambler. This one who doesn't uh, doesn't have a guidance scrambler. So I will take out my Zelos because they're counters, and you know, even if the missiles have tremendous evade, which I'm betting they do. It still would. You know. So let's see if I could creep up this and if he snipes at me. I think he can snipe me. I guess not. Oh boy, howdy, never mind. You can snipe these guys. Hold up. So theoretically, you don't need to worry about the, I mean, that's fascinating. Let's group them all up, see if I can snipe them. Okay, okay. So... All right, well, there you have it. Guy and Scrambler, I wouldn't suggest it. I mean, it, you could have it, but really, you don't need it. You could snipe the little ships. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? So with Inferno Dragon, you can snipe the... Oh, man. Very good test already. Let's snipe the little drones or the little destroyers. Okay. From my build, I need to have a V rocket on my infernos because I want them to be faster. Now, oh, that's beautiful. Can't believe we can snipe those. 
that helps a lot because I believe they don't they might not fire whenever you're close range I'm not sure it's worth a test so instead of doing that Okay. Still getting a lot of damage, but that's okay. That second Zelos right here is not re refitted correctly, so. Now, what I'm going to do is come around here, kill that executioner, And we're going to test out Get the fuck out of there. Oh no, my computer's oh it's targeting execution. Oh they're targeting my Zelos. So that's not no way no. Okay. Well, that's not okay. Trying to figure this out. So so far, because I want to test as much as I can with this. Awesome. It is kind of hard to okay. now in order to figure this out. I'm gonna send in my Zelos. See if these guys fire. If they fire and kill my, I swear I didn't see them. I don't know. I'll send in my one twin. Okay, I'll send that guy in. He's not fire. Oh, he fires close range, close range. But it's a it's close range, so you don't really have to. Oh, there goes my Zelos. But good results already. So these guys are very close range. Um, say around maybe what was that like 50, 60 ish? I don't I don't know exactly range. Okay, they're not boost three, but the fact of it is, um, they do have immense uh, remote target range, of course. These guys, the destroyers, you can snipe them with the Infernal Dragon. Creep up on them. You have to creep up on them. Um, other than that, uh, that was looking good. So, let me see if I could finish this sucker. I doubt it, but it's worth a try. Especially since I lost my Zelos with one of them. Yeah, no, it's not going to end well. Oh, if I kill the mortars, I, I have to stand it up. Oh, shit. 
Alright, bum rush it. Bum rush it. Oh, this is gonna hurt bad. No, I'm not gonna rush it. Well, yeah. Oh man, I was gonna see that sponge. <sighs> okay, so. That was, that was interesting. Really good test. Um, time went distracted. <laughs> but I went with it. So, it was good. Your opponent. Okay, sure. Um, let's see. So, we learned something new. Don't really need Guy and Scrambler on this sucker because... You can snipe out the. You don't. You, you won't have to even deal with the mastodons. The only thing, the only way you're going to deal with them is if you rush it. And honestly, I see it. You don't need to rush this target. You could, you know, you could slowly do this target. This is. I mean, it, slowly, slowly doing it isn't really that great. You know, a lot of people probably don't like doing this stuff slow, but. Preferably, I'd say doing the uh, target slow is better than taking on as much damage as you can. So because you know because I bum rushed it, boom, killed me. But, I mean I'd lost my Zelo. So um, recap. Guy Scrimbler doesn't really need it. Um, I didn't get the you know chance to. I can. Let's test it out. Let's see. Might as well. I got something. I'll I'll put on uh thirty minutes. Oh, I actually have one right here. Okay. <laughs> Good news for backups. So let's try that real quick. Let's see if it actually goes and does it. Because I'm not sure. Do a quick test right here. Okay, so that missile. All right, I'll have to. Uh, might get hit by the mortars. So hopefully, the mortars don't fire at me. That fires at me, great. Uh, the mortars are gonna fire at me. Okay, here is the missiles, here's missiles. I don't see any splash, but it does retarget. Kinda of hard to tell with that test, so I'll probably test it fully later on. Oh shit, the other way. But yeah, I'll test it fully next time. Um this one kinda of got out of hand, but with good results. Really good results, so until next time pirates. Uh, looks good. It's awesome figuring this stuff out.